For us at the Lawrence Bartley Theatre, it's really important that we engage with our community that surrounds us, and particularly with those people who don't see the theatre as for them or don't see creativity as for them. And it seems like libraries are a really good place. They're very central to their communities. They're a space that everybody uses. They're a space that lots of people feel comfortable with. So we had six libraries, so we chose six artists and we wanted to have a really good spread of different art forms so that we could see what worked and what didn't. Sometimes they were working with existing groups in the library, sometimes they were working with people who just came in to use the library and were interested in what they were doing. And if there was nobody around, then we encouraged them to develop their own creative practice and also to work with the library staff to look at how creativity could be more strongly linked into the library. So today we are in the Lawrence Batley Theatre, which I love. And today we are doing a sharing of our experiences. So all the artists and some of the participants over the last few months have come to hear how the whole project's gone. And so we've heard from all of the different artists sat on the stage talking about what we've been up to. I'll just make the world safer for everyone else and hide the darker parts of myself because I'm just a mum quietly sitting here, just postponing my dreams for one more year, just smoothing the way for others to walk, just leaving a gap for others to talk, cause I'm just moulding the next generation without a single congratulations, but that's fine. Cause I'm just a mum. I'm just a sister, a daughter, a best friend, a mum. Well, if I didn't do it, it wouldn't get done. I think the most interesting thing for me about this project has been is sort of walking into the space and having absolutely no idea who's going to walk into it and as a musician having to respond to that in a way that's appropriate so whether you have someone in their 60s wandering in who's got some prior knowledge of music and tastes and interests that they bring to the table or babies or small children who've never played an instrument before also, you know, with people in the middle or people with some specific needs and specific challenges and sort of having to really think about how you respond to that in the best way. That for me has been really interesting and challenging. But everybody's got that ability in them to be musical, it's just part of what it is to be human. And I think that when we, um, we put that into a, a context where we can use it to communicate with each other and enjoy each other's company, yeah, it gives us something that normal sort of verbal communication doesn't necessarily. I think it brings a lot of joy to people that they can access just different things within a safe environment, you know, and have the kind of access to that that people may not usually have on a day-to-day -day basis. It's quite expressive, it allows people to get together, be sort of any isolation and come together as a, as a community and music's an absolutely fantastic um, way of doing that and expressing yourself. I think it's been really brilliant, this project, um, in, in bringing t people together because there's a lot of people who are a little bit isolated or just kind of doing their own thing and there's, I've, what I've really noticed is there, there is this, you know, this desire for people to work together and I've had little evaluations after some sessions and some of the comments are just that people liked working with other people. Places like libraries have become a real lifeline for people, even even more than before COVID. A lot of the work that's happening is actually the conversations that happen in the sessions. It's about people getting to know each other um, and being able to sort of chat in a very relaxed environment where there's also a distraction of, you can just make a card, you can just make something to take home with you. Each of our artists just come in and they give people that confidence and they say, do you want to try something out? Do you want to try writing a song? Do you want to just talk to me? Do you want to do some crafting? And it's really about that creativity. I think that's the most important takeaway we've had is that everyone's realised, oh, I am creative and I can do this. And everyone wants it to continue because they absolutely love what we're doing. It's really important that the Lawrence Batley Theatre is seen to be doing this deep, socially engaged work and continues this work because, you know, contrary to what people think, it's not just a stage in four walls. It's a beautiful stage in a beautiful building, but as a theatre maker and a socially engaged and participatory theatre maker. I'm actually very rarely in a theatre building. So 
father brought me when I were young. It's back the game, come on son. On up the hill I'd lead in front. Climb the mount to stand and shout. With granddads, uncles, brothers, mums. Daughters in their dolly prams. Along for the fun. This here is our club. Where we belong. Out as one. Come rain, come wind, come sun. Shining on.